There's a threat of a serious respiratory virus spreading through the Midwest, and it has prompted a, look, a Lincoln hospital to restrict visitors to its neonatal intensive care unit. KTV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki reports doctors are beginning to see signs of what they suspect is enterovirus D68 showing up in hospital rooms. Dr. Luke Anschutz sees a lot of coughing, runny nose kids these days, but he's especially on the alert for a virus that could be starting to show up in exam rooms. They'll have a really hard time breathing. They'll be working a lot harder to breathe. They'll be breathing more, breathing faster. You'll be able to see the this kind of skin in between their ribs, maybe suck in when they take in deep when they take take in their breaths. It's called enterovirus D68, already affecting hundreds of kids in bordering states like Colorado, Iowa, Missouri, and Kansas. I don't know that we can say it's not in Nebraska. It very well, maybe. Dr. Amy Holes from the Pediatric Center in Bryan East Hospital says since the disease is not reportable, they only test in severe cases, which are sent off to the CDC. Right now, they are currently treating five patients that could have the illness, ranging from age two weeks to ten years. Old. The younger children are definitely at risk um, because of the breathing issues associated with it. That's why on Wednesday the hospital decided to restrict the neonatal intensive care unit and not allow visitors 14 years old and younger unless they are siblings and in good health. Just to help limit that spread. Since the virus is spread through close contact with an infected person, good hand washing helps, as well as covering your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Dr. Anschutz says stay at home if you feel sick. They should stay home from school and daycare so they're not around other kids um, and spreading the illnesses that way. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7. So when should you take your child to the doctor? Experts say if they're having a hard time breathing, have a high fever for more than two days, or if they just look sick and are lethargic, that is a sign that you should take them to the doctor. For more information, go to KETV.com. And we checked with several other hospitals on how they are handling the enterovirus threat. A spokeswoman from Children's Hospital Medical Center here in Omaha says they believe they have had a few patients hospitalized with that virus, but nothing is lab confirmed. The kids have asthma, and the flare ups could have been caused by allergies or the virus. But those cases have not been as severe as other hospitals around the country, it seems. Children's, the Nebraska Medical Center, and CHI Health all tell us they are not changing visitation guidelines. They are aimed at keeping sickness out year-round.